Hey guys, MKBHD here, back with another high definition video review for youtube.com slash droiddog and droiddog.com. And today we'll be taking a quick look at an Android application that has both a free and a paid version called Process Manager. This is a really neat, simple, powerful, and productive, and pretty much very easy to use application for Android that's going to help you save battery life and time by ending background applications either manually or automatically. As you guys know, Android is one of those few mobile operating systems that allows you to have multiple tasks open, and there's a lot of rules and people uh, having contradicting thoughts about how to use a process manager. My general rule is not to overuse it, but if things do get sluggish or you have too many applications open, go ahead and utilize a task manager to end something that you specifically want to end. That being said and out of the way, we can go ahead and take a look at the really simple and nice easy on the eyes interface here. If we open a, a bunch of background applications, in the background here you'll see I open a couple of things like the dialer and the contacts and other things like that. You might have a lot of applications open on your phone and some of these things will end up being the ignored list which is a predetermined list of things that your phone ignores and doesn't end on your command. But if I go ahead and refresh, those are all the applications that are not in the ignored list that I can go ahead and end just by one tap. Now of course there is a way to view this ignored list. If we go ahead and hit the menu button on the left hand side next to settings, there's an ignored list button. And by tapping this you'll be able to view a list of all the applications on your phone that are available to process manager to either ignore and never have the opportunity to end or to remove from the ignored list and always be able to end. Now as we go ahead and some populates the list here, all you, got, all you get really is the option to add and remove things to the ignored list just by checking the box next to it. So if you have something that you use all the time, maybe like messages or your uh, keyboard replacement or your phone dialer, you're going to go ahead and add that to the ignore list so you don't accidentally add these things when you mean to have them running in the background. You'll also notice as I scroll through this huge list here that it's actually pretty smooth and the application itself, the gestures and everything like that and animations are really fast. So you'll never really have a problem with lag in this app I've noticed. This is the original Motorola Droid so it's really not anymore a top of the line phone but you're going to get a really nice interaction and really smooth quick uh, stuff as you go ahead and end a few tasks here. It's all going to happen pretty quickly and you're not going to have a problem with lag. In the main list of available applications on the right, you'll notice how much memory it takes in the background. So if you see an application taking up a lot of memory, or you've noticed that after you close the application, seemingly it still sends to take up a lot of system resources, you can go ahead and hit that end all button on the left hand side. That'll end everything not in your ignored list. And you can always refresh and select individual applications to end that you notice are taking a lot of memory. Something else really handy about this application that I actually ended up using a lot more than I thought I would was the boot tab, which goes ahead and shows you an entire list of every single app that's installed on your phone. If you want to uninstall something or prevent it from booting, tap it once and you'll get the option to uninstall it, and it's a quick uninstall. If your home replacement doesn't have a long hold on the trash, this is probably your next best thing for quickly uninstalling applications from your Android phone. Now as with any MKBHD Droid Dog video, we'll go ahead and take a look at the settings of the phone, which again are available by hitting the menu button and hitting that button on the right hand side. The list of settings itself is not that long or impressive, but there are some cool things like being able to show a notification icon in the top of your screen, or showing ignored items in the full list of all the applications that you can run. Uh, having it in the notifications panel is kind of nice if you just like to, if you really use your app manager a lot, but I don't so I tend to uncheck that. You can also have an auto end frequency for it to automatically end apps that have been running in the background without use for more than a couple of minutes. I leave this on never, so I'll just go ahead and leave it like that. You can also show a system tab and an uninstall tab in your main screen next to your boot tab and your all applications tab. And to top it all off, Process Manager comes with a really simple, easy to use widget. It's a four by one widget, so it's four wide by one down, and it'll go ahead and show a list of as many as two, four, six, eight, ten running applications at once. You can tap the thumbnail of the little icon of the application to end it if you don't want it running in the background. Hitting the left hand side button is the same as the kill all button on the left hand side of the app. And hitting right, the right hand side button is the refresh button. So if anything else pops up running in the background again, you can go ahead and refresh and view that again. Adding it is the same as any other widget on any other Android app. You just hold down, go to the Android widgets, and find the process manager 4x1 widget. Overall, I gotta say I've been pretty impressed with the interface and the ease of use of Process Manager, and I've kept it on my phone for the past couple of weeks, and I don't think I'll be uninstalling it anytime soon. 
It's been a big help with the Motorola Droid's battery, and most of the phones with a smaller battery will definitely find this application beneficial if there's some GPS using application that tends to be a battery hog. Anyway, you can check out the free and paid versions in the Android market by scanning the QR code provided. And until next time, MKBHD signing out. Thanks for watching. Peace.